Checklist item number nine. Don't eat out at a restaurant until you've gone through our entire checklist and you fully understand FAL CPA, which was discussed in detail in checklist item number seven. Okay, now that we're this far down the checklist, you probably have a good idea that it takes some work to keep food allergens out of your house and off your child's plate. You know, even for us, it takes constant label reading. And we've been living with a food allergic child for many, many years, and we're pretty dedicated parents. But I tell you, there are times when we come home from the grocery store and we'll realize that we have brought home something that our child can't eat. You know, it happens. Food manufacturers change their ingredient list, and even if they change where they package their food, there might be a new exposure item introduced that wasn't there the last time you bought the product. So the point is, it takes constant label reading and some hard work to keep the food allergens out of your house and off your child's plate. Now, if it's difficult for a diligent parent to protect their food allergic child, imagine how difficult it is for a busy restaurant kitchen to make sure that they don't accidentally expose your child to the foods that they're allergic to. Think about that. Is the chef going to stop and read the package that the chicken nuggets came in? Are you sure they're going to read it correctly? So here's our point. You just need to, if you can, try not to eat out until you fully understand all the different ways that food allergens can get into your child's food. Okay, now let's say you have decided to eat out. Here are some things that we suggest that you do. Please just always be prepared. Make sure that you have Benadryl with you, and if your doctor has prescribed epinephrine, make sure you've got it with you, because accidents do happen. That's why they're called accidents. No one plans on them, so be prepared. Second, make sure you let your weight person know what your child's allergies are. Now, you can either just tell them, or you can write them down. FAN and Food Allergy Initiative have got some resources that can help in this area. They've got a, what they call a restaurant card or a chef's card, which you can print out, fill in with your child's food allergies, and then hand it to the weight person, and they can take it back into the kitchen so that it's sitting in front of them. Ask your weight person to let you know which items on the menu are safe for your child to eat. Third, Whatever you do, don't get a baked dessert. Please refer to checklist item number eight for why you shouldn't get a baked dessert. It's not packaged, it's not labeled. Checklist item number eight. Okay, one other thing we want to mention to you with regard to restaurants. Once in a while, you will arrive at a restaurant and upon scanning the menu, you might see language such as, please be aware that we use peanut oil in our kitchen, or please be aware that all products might contain trace amounts of peanuts. Okay, so this is the kitchen trying to let you know that they're so busy or so small or peanut oil is used in so many different things that it's virtually impossible to ensure that peanuts won't accidentally get into your child's food. So if your child has a peanut allergy and you see this kind of language on a menu, please don't eat there. Tell the white person that you've noticed this language on the menu. Thank them for including such helpful and aware language and then leave. Apologize to them, but tell them, you know, you've just got to go. They'll understand. And if they don't, well, who cares? <laughs> just be polite and um, protect yourself. So, thanks.